Hey everybody, I am here with an unboxing video. I am so happy to be doing an unboxing video. Today was the first Monday back from spring break and it was a Monday and everybody was tired and I so need this just ah, a little bit of fun at the end of my day. So I've got my scissors, I got my packages, I am ready to go. So we're gonna start with the bookish box and I have to say I'm already a little bit confused because with the bookish box from appraising pages you can um, do different types of subscriptions and so I had signed up for bookish goodies plus a book and what came was this envelope and it doesn't feel like there's a book in there or does it seem like a book could fit in there so I'm a little confused on how to sort that out but setting that aside let's see what we've got this is the first I've ever gotten anything from appraising pages or bookish box so I'm excited to see what we have in here so probably it's just gonna be bookish goodies and that's okay because you know always fun to get bookish stuff anything okay so we have uh, the card that says the char uh, diverse characters for the theme and it has a list on the back I'm not gonna read that because I want to be surprised so <laughs> first thing I see is this cute bracelet all right and we've got sunshine and stars. Let's see if I can hold that closer for you so you can see. All right, it's a bangle and it is inspired by The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Um, Nicola Yoon also wrote Everything Everything, which is fantastic. It's an awesome book, really good writer. Oh, that's cool, okay. So there's our first item and it comes in this cute little purple pouch to keep it in. And the great thing about this bangle is it's adjustable, so if you have fat wrists or skinny wrists or whatever, you can adjust it to fit you. Oh, there's something big in here. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. Albus Dumbledore! <gasps> Harry Potter! Okay. So... I have to get this out of the plastic. So this is a bag, okay, and it's got a zipper at the top. A little tote thing. And then on the back we've got cacti and different plants. That's so exciting. <laughs> Yay. Yes, I'm I'm nerd. It's okay. We have thoroughly established this already. Alright. Okay, ooh. I'm feeling something. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, this is so funny. <laughs> this is Epsom salts, which is amazing. And it's unicorn poo. Let's see if I can get that focus right. <laughs> it's rainbow colored Epsom salts called unicorn poo. Let's see if it tells us where this comes from. Unicorn poop rainbow bath salts. These were the best smelling representation of colorful diversity created by Ice Cream Cupcake Shop on Etsy. How much fun! Ah. Oh, I should tell you where that Dumbledore quote pouch came from. This is custom made by the bookish shop. Cool. All right, so there should be one more thing in here. Let me just check and make sure that I'm getting everything out. All right. Ah. Uh, this is cute. This is a pin that says "Read Diverse" on it, and then the card says "Share a book, create an ally." So this pin comes from, uh, very, let's see. Oh, designed by the bookish shop. Also, cool. Now this tells me that the the YA book was supposed to be the Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli, which is one of the books on my list that I really have wanted, been wanting to read. So I'm gonna have to contact them and see what's up. You were supposed to send me a book, but otherwise I am very very happy with this. Um, this package from Appraising Pages in the bookish box for April. So thank you very much to Appraising Pages for that. So, so far, if we can work out the little kink, I definitely will keep my subscription to this one. All right, up next, we have a package from Frostbeard Studio. Now I have to tell you a little bit of background on this. Um, in my owl crate, one of my owl crate boxes that I got was a coupon 
to shop at Frostbeard Studios and they make bookish inspired candles and wax melts for um, like a candle melter scentsy deal and uh, different kinds of fun scent kind of things all inspired by different books and fandoms and that kind of stuff. So I, um, since I have the coupon from the Crate Joy, I went ahead and placed an order with Frostbeard Studios because I love good smelling stuff. Who doesn't? And so my box has come from them and it's even in a cute box that says thank you on it. That's so much fun. Okay. Now I wish that I had smell and vision for this part because you don't get the full experience without being able to smell. But, you know, you take what you can get, right? And in the meantime, you can enjoy my beautiful new bookshelves that are behind me. I am so in love with my new bookshelves. I just, can I tell you, it makes me so happy to have new bookshelves. And what's even better about these bookshelves is I have empty shelf on there. So I can put more books on it. <laughs> All right. Okay, this box is being a little bit difficult. I'm sorry for those of you who are very impatient. Here we go. Okay, oh, this is so cute. So inside the box, they have this little sticker that's their Frostbeard Studios logo, and then everything's wrapped individually. <laughs> that's so much fun. That makes it even 10 times funner to unwrap things when they're individually wrapped. I love it when people take the time and care to make things presentable. I mean, even their box has little dividers in it so that the items don't tip over, and if they're candles, they don't break, and that kind of thing. So let's see what my first item is. I gotta remember what I ordered. Okay, ooh, yay, okay. So this is a Harry Potter inspired smell. It's called the Wizardy Buttery Drink. And this is uh, wax tarts. These are ones that you can put in a wax melter. Mmm, ooh, that's good. That's That does kind of smell like butterscotchy and mmm, just, oh gosh, yummy. What well, I imagine butterbeer probably smells like. On that note, I have two students, well, that have been to the Hogwarts Wiz World of Wizarding, whatever it's called. I don't remember the full title. And I've got another student that's going in another week. I'm so jealous of them. That's not cool. Maybe someday I'll get to go there. All right. So my next scent is some more wax tarts. This is the smell Le Cirque de Rev. This is the smell that came with um, Caravel in the Owl Crate box. This is a really yummy kind of circusy inspired, like caramely popcorn bonfire. Mmm, yum. I am so excited to use these in my classroom. These are great for middle school classrooms, by the way, if, if there are any middle school teachers out there watching this. Get rid of the middle school smells by melting candle wax in your classroom. The kids love it, and if you set down the rules that they can't touch it, they they do pretty dang good. I've had one student this whole year stick their finger in there, and that's pretty good. All right. Oh. Okay, so my other wax tarts, um, these are called Lallybrook, and this is inspired by Outlander. Now, if any middle schoolers are out there, let me just tell you the Outlander books and TV show is not appropriate for middle schoolers. I haven't seen this show, but just based on what I've heard, it's a lot like the books, and it's got some um, grown-up-y times in the book that are not for you. So let's see what Lallybrook smells like. Hmm, interesting. How do I describe this? It's kind of like a musky, maybe a little bit of bonfire mixed in there. It's an interesting kind of manly smell, which is good because Jamie Frazier, you know, he's a manly guy. And look, it has orange hair, like Jamie's hair. I imagine it to be orange. Like I said, I haven't seen the TV show, but he's supposed to be a ginger, right? Scottish dude. Okay. So the other things that I got are some little sampler stacks of candles that they do with different smells. And so we've got three little samplers to take a look at. And I won't go through and describe each smell because in the interest of time, I don't wanna bore you all to death, but I will tell you what the um, this these are. So this is the Bibliophile Sample Pack. We've got old books, Oxford Library, Bookseller, and Bookstore. I love the smell of old books, so I'm really hoping these scents are right on the money as far as that goes. I will smell them later and I will definitely let you know if they're not measuring up. I'm sure they will though because everything I've smelled from them so far has been amazing. Okay, fantasy sample pack, the Shire, some more wizardy buttery drink which we already established is good, headmaster's office, and Winterfell. Now is Winterfell, is that a, um, what's that show with the dragons and stuff? 
that I never watch. Um, and don't yell at me. What is it? I'll think of it in a minute. Um, but that, that show that has like the blonde girl, the Khaleesi with the dragons. I, I don't watch it because of appropriateness and stuff, but I'll think of it. That George R. R. Martin series. Okay. Book Lover Soy Candles. This is the British sample pack. And we have Sherlock Study. Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey. <laughs> Doctor Who is my latest fandom that I've discovered. And so I'm excited about that. Um, through the Wardrobe. So Lil Narnia Nod. And Hatter's Tea Party. Yay! All right. So we've got, so far, two out of three unboxings have gone very, very well. We've got uh, the Frostbeard Studio with all the yummy smelly stuff and the bookish box. Excuse me. All right, the last thing that I have is um, from Uppercase Box. Now, this is the only one that I did not get through Crate Joy. Um, Crate Joy, if you don't know, is a marketplace for subscription boxes, and all of their um, subscription boxes that they have on Crate Joy are small businesses, so you get to help support a small business when you order from Crate Joy, which I think is awesome. And Everything that I've ordered from Crate Joy is really amazing. But like I said, this one I did not get from Crate Joy. I just saw a link on Facebook, I think it was, and thought I'd give theirs a shot. So I just purchased a gift subscription, like a one-time gift subscription for myself so that I can try it out. And we'll see how it goes. All right. So I just was talking as I was cutting open the package. And the first thing that I see is... A cute bag that everything comes in called I Pledge to Read the Written Word. And it has the uppercase logo on it and stuff. That's super fun. I always love little bags because you can never, you know, not need more bags. Okay, so looks like we've got a book called Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. Cool. I always love books with beautiful, beautiful covers. I bought a book over spring break just because the cover was so pretty. I bought And I Darken because of the cover and because of the description. But, I, you know, covers catch your eye. So let's see what we can learn about Defy the Stars. Ooh, it's signed by the author. All right, so I'm going to read you the dust jacket and what we can learn together. She's a soldier. Noemi Vidal is 17 years old and sworn to protect her planet Genesis. She's willing to risk anything, including her own life, to their enemies on Earth. She's a rebel. He's a machine. Abandoned in space for years, utterly alone, Abel has advanced programming that's begun to evolve. He wants only to protect his creator and to be free. To the people of Genesis, he's an abomination. Noemi and Abel are enemies in an interstellar war, forced by chance to work together as they embark on a daring journey through the stars. Their efforts would end in the fighting for good, but they are not without sacrifice. The stakes are even higher than either of them first realized, and the more time they spend together, the more time they're forced to question everything they've been taught that was true. How cool. I remember, now that I've read this, I remember looking at this on a blog. I can't remember if it was Epic, Epic Reads maybe or something else, but um, about this being one of the more anticipated books in uh, in April or, you know, the time that we are now. It's April, right? Sorry, my brain's losing it. Okay, so Defy the Stars. <laughs> Yay. All right. And my students who are watching, because this book is signed by the author, I'm not going to put it in the classroom library. But if you're one of the few people that I trust very, very much, I might just let you borrow it. It kind of depends because things kind of went wrong when I let people borrow my autographed copy of Heartless. All right. So we've got a little note from Uppercase and a list of what's in there. I, I'm not going to read that yet. I'm not going to let myself, but I'm going to take a look here. Oh, cool. Okay, so this says, enter the code. Oh, as you read, you have to enter the code on the website. Ooh, so I wonder if that, like, unlocks secrets or stuff. That's cool. So I'm going to stick that in the book so that I don't lose it. Nice. All right, let's see what else is in this little bag. Oh, a magnet. More magnets for my fridge in my classroom. So this goes with the book, Challenge, Resist, Defy. Hmm. And it's pretty, just like the cover. Cool. All right, there's something else in the bag. Oh, this is a, oh, wow, this is really pretty. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so this is a quote by J.R.L. Tolkien. Not all who wander are lost. And this bookmark, it's kind of like, I'll show you the back of it. You can see the wood grain on there. It feels like 
a very thin piece of wood. It is wood. It's from Ink and Wonder. That's so cool. I'm going to have to show my dad this. My dad works with wood all the time, and he's going to maybe be a little bit inspired to read something because of a wood bookmark. I don't know. Dad, please read something. I gave my dad a book to read, and it took him a year to read it. He just doesn't have time. It's not that he's not intelligent because he is very much so, but he just doesn't have time. He's a busy guy. Travels for work a lot and stuff. Okay, one more item. <laughs> yes, I'm having another Harry Potter freak out moment. <laughs> oh, yay. It's a Harry Potter notebook. Who doesn't need more notebooks? Oh, that's so exciting. Yay. All right, so it says... Yeah, it doesn't tell me where the Hogwarts notebook is from, but it's sure pretty. Gosh, okay, I love this. All right, so as a wrap-up for my three unboxings today, Bookish Box, yes, with the caveat of figuring out that little mishap, whatever it was. Frostbeard Studios, yes. And what was this one, uppercase? Yes. I am so happy with my unboxings. I hope that you will check out some unboxings and maybe be inspired to do one of your own. I watch unboxing videos all the time, even if they're ones that I've already unboxed and I know what the stuff is, because I think it's fun to see people's reactions to nerdy stuff, being a nerd myself. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching once again. Adios.